Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show to take your life back today radio show. You can also see it on the video on channel Take Your Life Back Today show and YouTube. All you need to do is go in the search bar. Folks, a lot of people always say, is God fair? When people ask if God is fair, they are often asking from a human perspective if God deals with people in the way they deserve. From that perspective, no, God is not fair. All have sinned and fall short of God's glory in Romans 3.23 and deserve death as a result in Romans 6.23. Yet God has provided salvation as a free gift in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 to anyone who believes in his son Jesus Christ, John 3.16 and Acts 4.12. Far more than being fair, God is gracious, giving us not what we deserve, but what we need, and merciful, not giving us what uh, the punishment we deserve. He is also just morally consistent or fair and righteous. Justice is served in salvation because Jesus paid the price for our sins. We were gifted with grace and he uh, was given just punishment for our inequities. In 2 Corinthians 5.21, Isaiah 53.5, Hebrews 2.14.18, 1 Corinthians 15.54-57. Some ask whether God is just in his offer of salvation to all people. It seems that God is closer to some than to others and that his salvation is beyond the reach of uh, some people. For an example, some people are raised in Christian families and others live in areas where uh, being a Christian results in persecution. How is that fair? Yet Romans one twenty teaches for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. God teaches that no one will have a valid excuse for unbelief as he has made himself known to everyone through his creation. God is also interested in justice on earth. In Deuteronomy 8, 10, 18 teaches, he executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing in Romans 12, 19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Not only does God execute justice, he instructs his people regarding fairness as well. The Old Testament is filled with with God's instructions to his people to live justified, uh, justly to reflect his justice. And Exodus 23.2 instructs, You shall not fall in with the many to do evil, nor shall you bear witness in the lawsuit, siding with the many, so as to pervert justice in verse 6. And then ver verse 6 also adds, You shall not pervert the justice due to the poor in the, his lawsuit. Due to honoring, 619 states, You shall not pervert justice. You shall not show partially, and you shall not accept a bribe, for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and subverts the cause of the righteous. God invests much time communicating ways in which his people are to live justly toward him and one another. This helps us to realize that God cares greatly about justice both eternally and temporarily. God has been more than fair in his dealings with people. Despite our sins, Romans 3.23, he has offered forgiveness in 1 John 1, 9, and eternal life to those who will believe in his son, Jesus, in John 3.16. Further, as king and creator of all things, he can do as he pleases. He is not obligated to treat us uh, uh, we wish or uh, in the ways that we feel are fair. Instead, he works all things together for our good. Romans 8.28 as part of his perfect, perfect plan. Call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger and change their life, and it can even change your life forever. Remember, for God so loved the world that he gave up his only son. So please
please remember that God truly loves you, and please remember God is fair in all aspects, and may God bless each 